Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, Ed Weeks here. Uh, talk to you today. Real quick, I just did a Facebook Live on these, and I really, really, really want to emphasize the importance of the four W's. So the what, the who, the where, and the when. And how you can use these four W's really for some self-discovery to, to figure out what, who, where, when, you know, as it applies to current income for you, a current job. So let me explain. The what, the what you're doing now, the what the opportunities are where you are, wherever you're employed, what are your opportunities? What does the future look like? Uh, previous, you know, in, in my career development, career path, I was in big pharma. The future's so limited in that field. It's, it's, it's literally, you're, you're almost placing everybody into one sector, and that's oncology because everything's about cancer discovery, right? Cancer, cancer treatments, never cures, right? It's always going to be treatments that are, you know, insanely priced. So for me, got to that pinnacle of pharma sales and, and got into the, to the pool and interviewed and said to myself, I could never, and I repeat, never sell into that space. The false hope of a few months of extra living just does not work for me. It's all about quality of life. And to me, none of the drugs that are out there right now, maybe one, maybe one that actually provide, you know, longer life. You're only talking about months and you're talking about fortunes spent to get those extra months. Just accept sometimes what you're, you're dealt. And it's easier to say when you're healthy, you know, but for me, I just couldn't do it. So that's enough. I'm not going to get into some more moral and political or whatever discussion. The reality is I knew that wasn't for me. I also knew that in the field I was in, which was psych, psych uh, CNS, great field of helping people. I, you know, I, I had the love of my job when I was in that field, but the, the reality was my company was not investing in further discovery because why? Because the profits aren't, profits aren't there in mental health. And that's, again, fact, whether you like to hear that or not, that's the truth. There's not the profits that are there. So for me, the what, you know, it, it's about what you're doing, what the chances are long-term, what, you know, what motivates you, what really just, you know, what, what it's all about. And, and for me, it's, you know, I, I, I reached COO level, uh, Wall Street, and my what was what the hell am I doing? I'm, I'm literally spending my entire life getting to work, working, coming home, going to bed and repeat the next day and then wake up on Saturdays after trying to sleep in to recover, to be able to say, okay, I can enjoy a Sunday with my family, but I got to get to bed early because I got to get up to do the commute Monday morning. Ah, just a vicious cycle. And for me, it was what do I have to do to get out? And I just basically found some stuff I didn't like and got out. So that's the what. The who is, who are you doing it with? Who are you working with? Who's your boss? Who are the people around you? Are they encouraging, inspiring? Are they making you better? Are they, are they what you want to be? Do they inspire you to get better? Are they looking, are they a boss that can look at you and say, look, I'm developing you to take my job? Are they a boss that is keeping you down so they keep their job? The, you know, you have to examine these things. The who, who are your peers? Who is in your industry? Who, who are you around? I mean, literally for me, let me tell you what Wall Street has become. And this isn't on all levels, but this is what I saw. Wall Street is glorified on TV and in these movies about the money, the money, the money. But that's all it really is. It's, it's just a, it's, it's back to Wall Street, period. The movie, greed is good. That's all it is. It's money. The who I was with was a bunch of Adderall popping individuals trying to beat sleep, trying to, you know, meet demands they could never meet. And you know, working all hours. The traders forget about it. They're the worst. They're 22 hour days, Adderall left and right, just like, that's insane. The investment bankers and the consultants, you know, same kind of atmosphere. They're trying to meet demands they cannot meet, trying to do work that they can never, you know, complete in, in normal time. So they have to be drug induced. And that's just, I, I wasn't doing it right. I was overseeing this saying, oh my God, you got to be kidding me. But the reality is, I didn't want to be around these people. Who the hell wants to sacrifice everything that sacrifice? And I did. I sacrificed myself. I sacrificed my own health. I gained significant weight because I was sitting around. I was eating 
you know, rich food and drinking lots of wine and, and I mean rich food, not money rich, although it was very expensive. It was rich in like, you know, the steaks and the potatoes and the, you know, these crazy hours of eating and just, it, again, not who I wanted to really be. And, 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 and this is difficult for me because as a teenager and a business undergrad degree in my MBA, that's who I thought I wanted to be. And once I got there, I realized it wasn't. So for me, I, you know, I got to change. So who the hell have I become is what it came down to. The where, the where was easy. Wall Street, it was brutal. The office, you know, where we traveled. Yeah, when you traveled, you traveled and worked. You didn't enjoy where you were. So if we were going to Chicago, we spent hours in Chicago nailing down meetings after meeting after meeting, getting clients, another meeting. The next day it was 8 to 10 to 12 hours of meetings. Boom, flight in, flight out. That was it. It was an enjoyment of Chicago. I went with my daughter this year, basketball for her. I enjoyed the city. We enjoyed Millennial Park. We enjoyed the Bean. We enjoyed a lot of things that I've never seen because every time I was there, it was boom, 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 boom. Boom, end of discussion. That was my where. Wasn't where I wanted to be. And the when. The when was 10-hour days, 12-hour days, 8 to 8. Problem for me, I'm an hour and a half to two-hour train ride out of the city, and then another 15 to 20 minutes, pending no delays on the subway, pending no delays on the train. So you're talking two and a half hours on either end, bookend to my work day. 16, 17, 18 hour days, very common, very, very ridiculous, very well paid, very much not worth it. So I did this four W's in my own life when I picked up Peter Voog's book, which I love and I recommend for everybody who's in this spot thinking, what am I doing, uh, you know, and, and, and where am I going and what do I want to do? And people that are looking into digital and internet and social opportunities to, to build lifestyle and build income and wealth and business, start there. Start with the basics. Get the book, Peter Vuk. I'm not getting paid to tell you this. I'm telling you this because it inspired me to change. If I can inspire you to change by watching this, go for it. Get the book, read it. I read it. I read it again, and now, this morning, you can see, look, I mean, if you don't know me, you don't follow me, I walk. I walk every day, two to three hours. I was up early this morning, I had to do blood work, and boom, I was out walking, I got my breakfast, all those things, and I'm listening now, in Audible, to Peter Vuk, Six Months to Six Figures. It is very good. It is all about self-improvement and adding value, creating more value here. Me, Ed Weeks, create more value, put it out there, you're going to make more money. Look, I made good money. I just didn't make a lot of good other things. And for me, that was the difference. Now I have the income. I have the four pillars. Ty Lopez, health, wealth, love, and happiness. I have that. And people can't get through their heads the changes that are made and, and the discoveries that you make and, and the things that you put out there. They think that this entire internet is a scam. Are you kidding me at this point? Like, just go back and look at the history of radio to TV and then TV to the internet. Slow adoption, right? Like internet mobile, like what's going on now? And the kids, there's kids out here, 19, 18, 19, 20 years old that are making substantial incomes for themselves and enjoying lifestyles that people are envy of. And maybe that's why I came here, a little envious. And I looked into it and I said, holy cow, if they can do it, I can do it. And the mentality is that with me. And for a lot of people that I talk to and meet, it is, you're not legitimate. It isn't if, if Ed can do it, I can do it. No, it's if you're doing it, you're full of it. You're not really doing it. You're a scammer. You're full of it, blah, blah, whatever. That's like this is the mindset. And you know where that comes from? Let me tell you where that comes from. One in three Americans think the way they will become wealthy is by winning the lotto or lottery, state lottery. Are you kidding me? Like, come on, that's your path to prosperity. That is insane. So you have to look at where you are, do your 4W discovery and, and, and think to yourself, where can you be? And what does it take? And maybe it's a step that you take. You can take with me. You can take reading a book, Peter Voog. You can start looking at uh, the podcast from Peter or from uh, Ty Lopez or Gary Vaynerchuk or Tim Ferriss. Like, there's so many resources. Just don't become somebody who only consumes this content and doesn't use it. It's 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 scary to, to think of, of 
the amount of people that think, first off, that just do nothing but consume content, and second off, think they're going to win a lottery to become wealthy. You can become wealthy. Look at these younger, be inspired by what's going on. Be inspired by me. Be inspired by some of the people that you see that have come through like YouTube channels that are making great incomes for themselves. The Twitters, the Gary Vaynerchuks of the world. You can do it. If he, look, that guy swears. I haven't, I don't swear full of it, full of it. Hell, I say, I'm not a big swearer, right? I do talking to my buddies, but I'm doing business now. So like Gary Vaynerchuk to me, great message, great inspiration, great story. Really, really horrible communicator, vulgar, and he's costing, and he knows he's costing himself a bigger fortune because of his mouth. I mean, he sounds like a trashy New Yorker, and that's just not what I aspire to be. I aspire to be someone who develops people. You know, he says that he develops people, and that's cool. He's not, you know, he doesn't read, he doesn't do, so he really thinks he's greater than he is. To me, you have to read, you have to you have that humbleness, the humility, and, and Ty Lopez is big in that. And I think that's why I connect better with Ty Lopez. And I've been with the most arrogant of arrogance. Believe me, I've sat in the room with a member of the Jackson family who was the most arrogant of the arrogant. And he, you know, shook my hand and knew that it was a respect level right away. And that's just because I communicate well. And I don't, you know, I... I understand who he is and, and the greatness that has gone on in his life, this Jackson member, but I, it doesn't, that's, I don't have any starstruck awe. I'm not, you know, he's got, he's got a struggle that I don't want. I don't ever want to be able to not go out to dinner and, and, and have millions, hundreds of people around me. I don't want that. I want to help people get better and I will point them in directions to get better and I will welcome them on my, on my team to get better and I will welcome them to go other areas to get better. It's about developing great people. And I, this is why I do what I do. So look, that's what I have for you today. The four W's, look into them, apply them. You can apply them a lot more than, but I suggest you start where your income is coming from. What you do, who you do it with, where you do it and when. And if these things lead you to the conclusion that they led to me of why and what the heck am I doing? This is not what I want. This is what I thought I wanted, but I really didn't. And it takes time to sit down and actually go through this process and say to yourself, what can, now, okay, you get to all those things. Now, what can you do? Look, look to where I tell you, look and, and look into Peter Vuk, look into my blog, look into the opportunity I'm working with, look into Ty Lopez, 67 steps. I'm doing those as well. You know, I mean, these are all things that I'm adding. You have to, you know, you got to invest in yourself, right? Formal education will make you an income. Self-education will make you a fortune. No truer words have ever been spoken. Jim Rohn, love you. Thank you. So true. Spot on. Get the message. Get it through. Do the four W's and I will talk to you soon. Thank you.